Welcome to the I Am Responding video. Short tutorial showing you the ins and outs and how to set up your I Am Responding Salt Spring Island Fire Rescue application. Alright, the first step you're going to need is an at saltspringfire.com email address. If you don't currently have one of those, email ageorge at saltspringfire.com and I'll send you your personal email address as well as password. Okay, so here's an example of an Apple account setup. We're going to walk through each step, step by step. So at the top here, just simply enter your name. You'll notice the email address that will be given to you. We'll start with your first initial, followed by your last name at saltspringfire.com. The description, just complete it as shown here. Moving on down to the host name. Just complete it as you see shown here. Just ensure that you put the dot between smtp.saltspringfire.com. And once again, your username will be your individual email address. Your password will be given to you in an email, and that will be your at saltspringfire.com email address password. This is not your I am responding password. And finally, the SMTP, same thing as the incoming, the outgoing, just requires a dot between these. Make sure you have the dot there. So once you complete the at saltspringfire.com email setup, there should be an email waiting for you. This will give you more information on the registration process for I am responding. So this is the I am responding.com webpage. You'll notice the top right subscriber login. That is how you'll access your own page at IamResponding.com. This page is a great resource for other information, testimonials, and this video here is worth watching. So once you've clicked the top right subscriber login, a secondary window will appear. This is your login area. This is where it will ask you for your agency name, your username, and your password. Notice the agency name is SSIFR, all capitals. Every person has that agency name. Your username and password will have been sent to you at your at saltspringfire.com email address. Look for them there and type them in as you see. Once complete, press login. So this is the desktop view of the I am responding homepage. Once you log in, this is the view you'll see on a desktop. We'll go through each one of these sections in more detail. So at the top there you see it's registered to IamResponding.com, Salt Spring Island Fire Rescue, and it's time stamped each time there's an event. This section here shows you a possible calendar view of who's on duty, such as duty officers, duty crews, uh, members available, members not available. This could be a very useful area. This section here is probably the most useful. This is the area that's going to actually show members responding, their positions if they're drivers or not, where they're responding to, and estimated time of arrival. Members will be shown here in a scrolling fashion. This section will detail dispatch information such as time stamping, the locations, the incident type, and it'll simply just scroll continuously. This area on the right is upcoming events where you can list such things as platoon challenges, training weekends, fundraisers, all accessible and all viewable. Just another way to communicate to the department. This is bottom section shows you a list of all of our apparatus that we have in our fleet. Uh, it shows if they're in service or out of service. As you can see, engine 202 is grayed out, showing that it's out of service. So this is a great, uh, quick, easy method for us to demonstrate uh, what trucks are in service and what trucks are out of service. So going back to this page, by clicking on this response codes tab, it pops us this secondary box here. Uh, this box shows you the, the 1 to 9, if you're using a phone that's not a smartphone, how you would activate uh, your response codes. So as you can see there, pressing 1, 
will demonstrate you're responding to hall 1, 2, hall 2, etc. So if you haven't downloaded the I Am Responding app yet, you can do so by these QR codes. You'll see on the left here, this is the QR code for an iTunes Apple device. This is the QR code for an Android device. So go ahead, you can scan these with your phones, and they'll bring you right to the individual app for this I Am Responding. So this is an image of the I Am Responding app at the Apple Store. Uh, you'll notice you may have to search with the IAR as the name. You also notice this is an iPhone app, and it's not actually built for iPads. So if you're searching on an iPad, you may have to switch over and search it via iPhones. That's an important part, or else you will have a hard time finding it. Okay, so here's an image of the agency list. Uh, this is an iPhone app, View. And as you can see, SSIFR is our agency list. By clicking on the Edit button here, you'll notice the screen will change slightly. And this is how you can edit your agency list by clicking here. So once you press the edit button you'll come to the screen here. Uh, this is fairly important that you do this early on uh, with your app. So make sure you take your notifications and you turn that to on. Make sure you assign your notifications a ringtone. And down to this one here if you click mapping zoom make sure that's a hundred percent down to your message settings uh, this is your mass uh, fire department texting so make sure you turn that notifications on and also assign that a ringtone so once you've edited your agency settings click done and we're on to the next screen so when you're on the dashboard setting if you simply just swipe your finger across your smartphone, you'll come to these two other individual windows. This first window here, the on duty window, will show you a list of who's on duty. It could be a duty officer, a duty crew, etc. You swipe over one more finger and it'll bring you to this apparatus window. This will show you a list of all our apparatus in the fleet and it will also show you which ones are in service or which ones are out of service. As you can see here, engine 202 is grayed out and is out of service. So a great communication tool to the whole department. Okay, so here is I am responding in action. This is what uh, it will look like on your phone. Uh, when the I am responding activates, it will pop up with a little message here on your phone. You basically swipe your phone and this app will activate right away. Alright, so the next screen you'll see is the incident notification details. Essentially this is a dispatch uh, note. So as it shows you here, alarm bells, it's a commercial residence we're responding to and it will show you the location 232 Rainbow Road. So the next thing you do here is we go down to this red button on the right hand side. You press the Respond Now button which pops up a scrolling wheel. So now that you've clicked the Respond Now button this wheel will appear. So now you can go ahead and click Hall 1, Hall 2, Hall 3, etc. by scrolling through this list this is where you're responding to so I'm going to respond to Hall 2 by clicking that. So Here's an image of the mapping section so this is essentially after you've clicked that you're responding and what location you're responding to you can now actually view a map and it'll show you a GPS coordinate from where you are all the way to the location that you're responding to so you can watch this in either a normal, satellite, terrain, or hybrid. This is a hybrid mode right now, which is basically a photographic overlay on the Google map. You can also see it as a street view. You can get directions. 
or you can navigate it like much like a GPS. Please make sure you don't use this while you're driving. Use this prior to getting in your vehicle. So this is just showing the pinched in zoomed map of the location we're responding to. So 232 Rainbow Road is the location and by simply pinching in you can get zoomed in to your mapping location. By clicking on the incidents which is the bell at the bottom here you can get a scrolling list of all the incidents over the last 30 days. By simply clicking one of these incidents will take you to the mapping section and the incident details. So I hope this short tutorial uh, helped you in your registration of your email as well as your IM responding. If you have any further questions, email ageorge at salspringfire.com. Drop in, see me, and I'll walk you through any more steps. Enjoy. So I hope you get a lot out of this IM responding program. I think it's going to be a great asset to our department and a great asset to our time management, our response, and being effective. So following this, I have a short video showing you a bit more detail on a few of the items. Stay tuned. Alright, welcome to the I Am Responding app tutorial. We're going to walk you through how the actual app works, and hopefully this will help you in the process of introducing yourself to the app and using it a bit better. So the IAR app, which is the I am responding app. We'll just go ahead and click that. Uh, what pops up next is the incident notification detail. So this is essentially we've been paged out to an incident, our pages have activated, our I am responding has activated. Up comes this sheet here saying uh, we basically have a call for assistance general public or 105 Lower Ganges Road and so now on the bottom right hand we have this respond now in the red we're going to go ahead and click that up comes a scroll wheel where we can go through and select where we're responding to so for this incidence I'm going to respond directly to the scene so by clicking scene it actually logs me in as responding directly to the scene for this incident. So down the bottom left you'll see that dashboard button. We're going to click that and this is going to show us now the list of firefighters that are responding to this actual emergency. So as you can see I'm the only one responding at this time. Uh, it says my name, Arjuna George, Deputy Fire Chief. It shows that I'm a driver and it shows that I'm responding directly to the scene. You can see also that it actually shows an ETA uh, roughly 10 minutes away from my arrival at the scene. So this is the main page where firefighters will uh, begin to be appearing on this, this page. Uh, as the incident grows, more and more firefighters are responding and this list will grow and grow. So this is where the opportunity to actually see who's responding and the numbers and that's where really this app is going to be beneficial for us. So if you look down at the bottom you'll see the incidents with the bell. If we click on that it essentially shows us a list of incidents over the last 30 days uh, that we can actually click on and view basically. So if we just go ahead and click one here So this is showing an assistance call, 105 Lower Ganges Road. Essentially from here, if you go to the bottom left, you'll see a view location. If I click that, it'll actually pop up with a Google map showing where I am, which is A, and location of the incident, which is B. And it shows me a Google, uh, basically a navigation uh, right from my spot right to where we're responding to. So this is a hybrid version where you can actually see um, a photographic overlay which is very beneficial and you can just pinch and zoom just like you would with any other uh, 
your iPhones or Android devices, uh, which is a very easy and smooth way to, to zoom in and out. So you can do directions, which is useful. You can actually do a directions, and you can also do street view, which is extremely beneficial. Uh, being able to see exactly the location you're responding to and seeing it in a Google Street View. So, using the navigation is a great tool. It provides a, another tool for us to use while we're uh, getting ready to respond. Uh, don't use this while you're driving. Use this as a tool before you get in your vehicle and you actually know where you're going and uh, respond safely. So by clicking back we went to this page here and down in the very center here you'll see that message icon. If we click on that uh, up will appear a new screen. This essentially is a mass texting screen and this I am responding app allows us to send out mass texts to the whole department. Uh, so the admin or the duty officer can send out a mass text to everyone with the I am responding app and as an example here Captain Jamie Holmes sent out one on last Tuesday uh, letting everyone know about the practice at hall number two 1900 hours. So once again this is just another tool and another method for us to communicate better with the membership and basically just another way to communicate. So if we go back to the dashboard here, which is the bottom left, there's two more screens to look at here. So at this at this area here, you can actually slide your finger over and you'll see this on-duty screen. Uh, this on-duty screen will essentially show you uh, be the duty officer on scene or the duty crew, um, the Christmas duty crew, anything like that can be all listed in this area here. And then one more screen over you'll see a list of all our apparatus that we have in our fleet. Uh, you'll, so you'll see they're all in service here except there's one that I have an example as engine 202 is out of service. So this is a, another method for us to communicate with the entire department on important uh, apparatus um, updates and allows for everyone to be totally uh, up to speed and uh, up to date on on how our apparatus is right now. So another great method to communicate better to everyone and to keep everyone up to speed uh, in real time. So I hope that uh, little tutorial helped and hopefully uh, using this app is going to be a great uh, ease for you and it's going to be a great asset to us as firefighters. Thank you.